Ryan Madden here from cfcsports.com. Huge opening weekend of College of Charleston Athletics as men's soccer and CFC volleyball open their 2014 campaigns. But not to be forgotten, men's and women's cross country, boasting one of the most talented teams in program history. Both squads head up the street aways to the Coastal Carolina Invitational, where they'll take on a host of talented teams. We caught up with Amy Sego to get her thoughts ahead of their opening weekend. I'm excited. We, we have a good group of incomers on both the men's and the women's side. Pairing that with our returners, it should be one of our stronger years. Um, we look pretty good in preseason here. Obviously, we're excited to get out to a race and see what we look like against other competition, but I'm excited. Mackenzie's the returning school record holder. Adam is right behind him. So I expect those two really to, to lead the crew along with the, the new folks we have. Crew and Colton have done really well, and uh, I, I expect good things. Haley and Trish were our one and two last year, and we add to that a lot of depth. Uh, this is the largest team that we've had on the women's side, 18 total. Carly's coming off of just a near miss from World Juniors uh, in the steeplechase, so she's in good shape. Cora looks really good, and um, you know Abby's a transfer from UNC Pembroke, and I, I expect her to do good things for us as well. I think it's always good to get started, especially with a meet that's fairly close by, uh, only about two hours down the road. A smaller size meet in that Coastal Carolina obviously is the host, um, Citadel, UNC Buford, and then us, or I'm sorry, USC Buford, and then us. And Coastal men and women won on both sides last year. The men in the preseason Big South Pole are favored. Uh, they're number three in the conference, and then the women are favored to win. So good, strong competition. We know the Citadel. We see them pretty often. So I feel like that'll give us a good indicator as to where we match up and just projecting it on out throughout the season with the men it's a 5k instead of an 8k so that's that I think at this time of the year the best distance to race and just ease our way into that 8k well I expect some new uh, top tens all the way across the board men and women and I expect program highs I, I think like I said on paper this is our best team I expect really big things and expect better finishes in the CAA